these agreements are named in a really specific way to make them palatable, right? So we call them free trade agreements, et cetera, et cetera. And recently, um, or the trade campaign with the Council of Canadians has started using a different language, and I think it's something that we should all look at using, is because that they're actually defined, in my mind, as corporate rights paths, right? Like, that's what they actually are. They're not, they're not about trade, as like it was mentioned, they're not really free. Um, it's about like power and monopolies getting to decide what policy looks like in a bunch of other countries, right? So, and, and that really benefits corporate power. And so looking at these corporate rights paths, what the present era, what's worrying right now, and I think something that we need to really look into is, is that we've gone through a lot of generations of defeating these things, right? Like the collapse of the WTO um, negotiations in Mexico was a huge moment for the global justice movement that's fighting these trade agreements. Um, and as mentioned before, the FTA and the NAI that were defeated. But we're kind of, uh, what, what we're seeing is, is that we're falling into this, what you know, some people are referring to as this era of market fundamentalism, which is really what, again, these agreements are about, right? You're supporting corporations for market access, and market becomes the decider of what policy should look like. It's, it, it's not public policy, it's not democratic decision making, or communities deciding that we want this in our communities, that we want to ban fracking, we want to do this, we want to do that. It's the power of the market that decides that if you can make money, that's the only that's the only signifier of whether you know a project should go forward. This idea of internationalism and international fights is really what we need to frame this movement as, and that's what the anti-globalization movement had become in its heyday in like the early 2000s and the late 1990s, when Seattle happened, when you know Quebec City happened. There was a really international element to it that where we saw that we were actually in solidarity with communities around the world, um, and and not fighting each other, but fighting the powers that be.